Quav, I'm Denny. Hello, I'm Denny. Welcome to our channel, Diary of Our Lives. So guys, today we'll be discussing the three phases of our merge. I know you're wondering, what is the three phases of our merge? We've actually been married three times. Literally three times. So first is marriage by faith. The second is a traditional marriage. And third is marriage by ordinance or court marriage. So marriage by faith is, is we are practicing the faith of Israelite or keepers of Torah. Uh, we also practice the dietary of vegans, meaning we eat no animal, no milk, no cheese, no eggs. My wife, actually, before we got married, went on a 30-day cleansing of all these foods, or fast, if you will. So, we were both immersed or baptized individually, then we were both immersed or baptized together. In the name of the Father and Son, just to be clear. Uh, our family in the faith bear witness to our union in the ceiling of our marriage so that it will be so it is above so it will be below okay guys so the traditional marriage in a simple term is a form of marriage that involves both family that is the bride family and the groom's family the traditional marriage is a necessary common rights for all Ghanaians. During the marriage ceremony, a diary or a tribute is given to the bride family and gifts are presented to the bride family and accepted too. So we had to travel all the way to the northern part of Ghana where I come from. And hey guys, it is not an easy journey. It is not. So I know you might be wondering, but there are flights that go to the northern region. But then, during that time, because of the COVID, there was no flights available. So as my wife said, the journey to the north was very strenuous. Uh, we had to charter a bus because, as my wife said, there was no flights due to COVID. So, anybody ever been on a bus trip along with the eight hours know that it's not a comfortable thing uh, the seats after a while become hard uh, the bus was very air-conditioned my wife was cold pretty much the whole ride I myself got cold after a while uh, the bus made frequent scheduled stops uh, for restroom uh, for gas and there were people we were picking up along the way babe. yeah i know it's uh, normal what was because that about it's normal it's normal yeah it is normal yeah so, oh and they had these movies that were playing on the bus uh Kumaru movies for y'all that know that or come on oh come on baby from kamasi yeah kamasi yeah. little wayne shout out to little wayne <laughs> uh, they have a little wine here in Ghana, yeah. So, uh, but now the movies were very entertaining and very funny. But 16 hour road trip is what this bus trip was about. And, you know, every time I felt like I was getting comfortable to go to sleep, we we're going to make a stop. As I said, the bus made frequent stops for bathroom, uh, gas, and etc. of picking up people. So, to say the least, it was a uh, great. We finally arrived in Drapa. The marriage ceremony took place. The, the gifts were presented. And we later had to meet so I could properly introduce my husband to the whole family. So guys, this is how marriage ceremony basically is performed in the northern part of Ghana, where I come from. So, our third marriage is the marriage by ordinance or court law marriage legality this marriage is registered by law for individuals practicing monogamy so any other marriage outside of this is illegal uh it's actually a misdemeanor and punishable by law so this means no second wives no second wives not for me at all at all never never yes so guys 
So guys, drop your comments. Let us know what you think. Continue to watch, like and share. Shalom family. Shalom.